Hey, what's up guys? David Nussbaum at Wheels Boutique here. I got my long sleeve on because it's about 69 degrees today. So it's quite cold for us Miamians, but I've got a treat for you guys. I've got a treat for myself as well. All of you know, 911 Porsche, broken record. I'll just say it over and over again. Every time I have a Porsche in front of me for YouTube, Porsche is my favorite brand. Green cars are my favorite color cars. And what do you have here? The Targa, which is my favorite body style of the 911. So what we have is the 992 Targa C4S. So it's the Carrera 4S. It's a four wheel drive. It's the S model. So it has a little bit of a bump uh, in horsepower and torque from the twin turbo uh, flat six. So, you know, a lot of people will say, Hey, I have uh, a Porsche Turbo because it has turbos. And no, it's not a turbo. This is a C4S Targa, but your engine just happens to have turbos, but you don't have the 992 Turbo. So again, this is a C4S Targa in the olive green. This car belongs to our buddy Fish Whips. Now, Fish Whips' his cars have been featured on our channel many, many times before. What I do love about our buddy Fish is that he's been doing cars with us for 15, 20 years. He trusts us to do whatever it is basically that we want to his car. And that is how every time you follow him on Instagram, you see him with a new car, you're absolutely amazed by the build because Fish really does give us the uh, freedom to work on the platform and do what we think is gonna look absolutely amazing. So just off the top of my head, some of the baddest cars that we've ever done have always belonged to Fish. The last one I can recall, and hopefully Marvin will have some pop-up images as I remember this, is a Dodge Ram TRX in a Miami blue wrap with some Anarchy AN36s. We did that I think last week or the week before. That blew up like crazy. Everybody with a TRX was calling us that week for those wheels. We also more recently did a Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR Pro on Anarchy AN24 wheels. I think on that car, we did a 21 by 13 and a half rear with a 355 tire, which was absolutely nutty. And then of course, one of my favorite classic 911s was his 993 Turbo in black on HRE 527Ss with the gold wheels. That's another car that really set the standard for that, um, that design and combination. And a lot of 911 um, owners from the 993 era, 964 era, 930 era call me for that setup. But going back to this car, again, he said, you know what? Pick whatever wheel design you want, pick whatever finish you want, and also any other modifications you wanna do to the car and show me the car after it's done. So that's exactly what we did. Absolutely amazing. This color, I wish you guys could see it in person, is the olive green. I'm gonna pivot around here. We've got the Anarchy AN10 wheels. Now, in the front, we're gonna have a 21 by nine and a half. In the rear, we're gonna have a 22 by 13. The tire sizes will be a 255, 30, 21 for the front, and a 335, 25, 22 for the rear. This car from factory, comes with 20 front and 21 inch rear. And in some markets even, like uh, I have a customer in Indonesia that has this car, in those markets they even come smaller with a 19 inch front and a 20 inch rear. So these wheels can be done in any of the designs. We can do 19s, and this is the designs, I should say in the sizes, 19s, 20s, and 21s, and 22s, which is exactly what we did on here. The 21 inch for the front, 22 inch for the rear. When I walked in this morning, Marvin was in the warehouse unboxing one of these wheels and it literally stopped me in my tracks. Instead of me signing in, in my little clocking in uh, tool there, I saw this through the reflection and I was like, I have to see what this is in person. This is the very first time that I have ever seen this specific finish in person. It is a two-tone brushed and polished champagne. So if I get down here, get a little closer to it, any surface that is uh, facing us, which would be kind of this outer register here and these spokes is gonna be hand brushed in, in champagne. The windows, the service area in between each spoke, that is a mirror polished champagne. So when this wheel comes out of machining, it goes right into a tumbling machine that has a bunch of little pebbles. The machine will shake the wheel and it'll make it look like a chrome wheel basically, which in essence is a polished clear coat. Then the wheel goes to somebody that does brushing by hand with a tool, does all of these surfaces and brushing so you get the uniform brush strokes. And then finally it goes to another person in the powder coat room to spray the champagne color across the wheel. It is absolutely phenomenal. 
We went the extra mile with the carbon fiber anarchy center cap, the bezel in black, which can be done in any color. We wanted to make sure to add a little bit of pop to it uh, so it contrasts. We didn't want champagne on this as well. So we did the black because the black trim on the car, the black roof, of course, is a Targa. And then if you notice, the car is also lowered. We did some lowering springs on this. Did we do an exhaust on this one as well? Absolutely. IPE exhaust, right? Yeah. You know, I didn't even know what it was, but I could have assumed it was IPE because IPE is hands down the best sounding exhaust for the 992 platform. We did it on our 992 Turbo as well. And you know, once we heard that one and compared it to all the other 992 exhausts, it, it wasn't even a competition. So 992 is the go-to for that. And then if you notice, this car looks a little bit different from something that you would normally see with a 992. And that's because we did the Tech Art body kit on it. So featured on our channel before was a chalk gray 992 Turbo with all the Tech Art pieces. <laughs> This is obviously the 992 C4S Targa with the Tech Art pieces. So it's gonna be a full lower fascia. And it's very hard to tell that it's a new lower fascia because a lot of those components we will paint in a specific color. On the chalk car, a lot of this was chalk and black. This car, a lot of it is that oak green, well not oak green, but the olive green. And a lot of these trim pieces, we left it black again for the contrast. So this is a brand new lower fascia. These little uh, canards here. And then going down to the side skirt, my favorite piece, the side skirt, because it jets up right here. This is such a cool design element. I know that people are going to like different types of things, but in my opinion, that is one of the most beautiful parts of the tech art piece. And then moving our way to the back, on the chalk car that we had, we did a lot more chalk involved with the black, but on this car, uh, the customer, in this case, Fish, was uh, he wanted a lot of the pieces painted in the same, as, same color as the car. So that's what you see here. You've got the black out here, of course. You've got the wing up. I'll put that down a little bit so you can see the profile with the Targa roof off and this wing down. But since I'm talking about the wing, there's also this little, what we call a little deck lid spoiler here. I personally would do something a little bit bigger on it, but I think it looks really nice. Techart did a really good job of doing aerodynamic um, testing on all, all of their pieces. So extremely, extremely nice. Again, let us know what you think about all of the cars that we've done for Fish recently. Go to his Instagram, Fish Whips. Go to my Instagram, David.WheelsBoutique. I feature a lot of his cars on there. In my opinion, it is the, the baddest cars we've ever done, again, because he gives us the chance to have that blank canvas to do what we want with his cars. So without further ado, let me jump in here, act like I know what I'm doing, see if I could put the target top down, see if I could put the wing down so you guys can see the profile like this and also the profile when it has, uh, you know, the ceiling missing. All right, so wing down. How shall I do wing down? Let's see, spoiler, normal. No, that's chassis, sorry. Spoiler, eh, spoiler, maybe if I hold it, keep the button pressed to retract. All right, so it's down now. Now go a little bit further back so we can see. Let's see, on my car, the window, on my 996, the window buttons are right here. Uh, oh, they're right here. So what do you guys think? In my opinion, this is why the Targa is my personal favorite. I absolutely love how they have the whole canopy come out. It's like a really cool party trick that I feel is underrated in the sports car and supermarket world. I love that it keeps the, the silhouette and the design language of the 911 without ruining it too much with the, with the convertible. So that's why, um, you know, in my opinion, the Targa is the best, as I've mentioned. It would be so cool if they came out with a turbo Targa 
that would be pretty dope. Or if somebody would be able to build it, you know, they drop the turbo, uh, drop this engine, you put the turbo engine in, it's already all wheel drive since it's a C4S. So that would be pretty cool. Um, let us know what you think in the comments. Give us a thumbs up on this channel, it really helps us out a lot. The more thumbs up we get, uh, the more YouTube will show off the channel to other people that might be interested in it. And of course, if more people are interested in it, we'll, we'll make more videos for you guys. So let us know what you think. Um, go to Fish's web, uh, Instagram as well. Check through his cars, see which one is your favorite. Leave it in the comments below. And also let us know what you think of this car. Let us know if you think it looks better with the top on or the canopy open. And also let me know what you think about the incoming mullet that I have going on. Thumbs up or thumbs down on the mullet. Let me know guys, see you later.